Lindsay, each score 40 36. While Judge Barbara Pettis has it 39 37. You know it's AB, always born, always born, a lot of bills, you know what's going on man, you know, uh, shout out to Crown Joe's boxing man, you know, uh, my people, you know, uh, they, they get it in over there, straight up. What's good YouTube, Crown Jewel from Crown Jewel Boxing. I didn't plan on coming back on tonight. But first things first, how about them Eagles? 10-1, and 1, as I predicted before the game. But on a serious note, uh, I had to come back on after coming across an article online that was really disturbing involving um, the WBC, uh, Carlos Padilla, referee Carlos Padilla, and Manny Pacquiao. Um, Carlos Padilla came out and admitted blatantly admitted to cheating twice for Manny Pacquiao in a fight back in 2000 against Nadal Hussein in which Pacquiao was dropped in the fourth round and should have been counted out but he deliberately slowed the counter made it a long count because he was told that if Pacquiao won he was going to get a shot at the WBC title and that he really needed to protect his fellow Philippine countrymen as much as he could to try to assist him in winning the fight, which he admits to doing not only once, but twice in that fight. Um, he also admits to Pacquiao headbutting Nadal uh, Hussein and causing a cut that the fight was stopped on. He said uh, he knew the cut was caused by a headbutt and that they should have went to the scorecards, which would have gave Hussein the victory, but he deliberately lied and said it was caused by a punch which made it a TKO win for Pacquiao. Um, this revelation should automatically disqualify uh, Mr. Padilla, who's already in the Hall of Fame. His Hall of Fame status should be revoked at the very least. There's not a whole lot that could be done to him. Besides that, as he's 88 years old and likely not reffing anymore. But um, as far as for the WBC, there needs to be a full investigation launched. Um, they've been long known for corruption. There's a certain promoter, and I hate to say his name because I, I really respect his contribution to the game, but anybody who knows, you know, the strongest pr uh, promoter of the 90s um, had the WBC in his pocket. It was evident that all his fighters were fighting for the WBC. Anybody he, you know, was behind was ranked number one by the WBC, and he kind of just pulled the strings of the WBC as a promoter. So they have a long-standing background of corruption, um, there needs to be a full investigation, and if they can be proven to have any um, participation in Mr. Padilla's corruption, they need to be banished from boxing effective immediately. Um, nobody else, no, fighters give their blood, sweat, and tears, and sometimes their lives to fight for world championships, and there's no place for organizations that take a percentage of their pay to cheat them. Um, that's all I have to say for now. Um, this is a developing story. Until next time, hold on. always forget, remind y'all, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, share. And if you'd like to help contribute and uh, help us to grow, you can make contributions to, to our cash app, dollar sign crown jewel 78. And until next time, keep your hands up, your chin down, and your ass off the floor. Peace.